Lots of people around the world are fascinated about the private lives of the British royals. Well, today you're in luck because we're going to peek behind the curtain and look at some weird and wonderful facts that you wouldn't believe. If it wasn't for King Edward VII unexpectedly stepping down from the throne in 1936, there might have been a different crop of family members making headlines today. Before 1917, the royal family didn't have a last name and were simply referred to as whatever house or dynasty to which they belonged to. This was until George V dubbed Windsor as the official family name. Did you know that while women who married a king received the title of queen or queen consort, it doesn't work the other way around. When Prince William becomes king, Kate Middleton will be queen, but Elizabeth II's late husband, Prince Philip, was recognised as prince, not king. How strange. When it comes to celebrating, Her Majesty knows how to do it best. Queen Elizabeth II enjoys a glass of champagne every evening along with a dry martini. She also sips gin before lunch and wine during lunch. Queen has a lot to celebrate though, as she has two birthdays. Her real birthday, which is the 21st of April, which she celebrates privately, and her second birthday, which is on the second Saturday of June. This tradition started with King George II in 1748. And what food does the Queen like? A former royal chef, Darren McGrady, has said that the Queen would never have garlic on the menu. She hated the smell and the taste of it. She does though like a nice bowl of cornflakes every morning. Sometimes Her Majesty even enjoys a nice tuna sandwich every now and then. But only with the crust cut off of course. Her Majesty is also known for having a sweet tooth and loves a bit of dark chocolate after dinner. If you're lucky enough to have dinner with the Queen, you have to know that as soon as the Queen finishes her meal, everyone else must put down their cutlery and stop eating. This rule also applies to all members of the royal family. Well, I just hope she's a slow eater then. And what about Prince Harry and William? When they were younger, Lady Diana asked for their family chef to cancel lunch for their sons sometimes, because they preferred to go to McDonald's instead. Oh, I'm surprised it wasn't a Burger King, at least that came with a crown. Prince Charles and Lady Diana were known to keep any leftover food to be included in their next meal, so that sounds like reheated chicken nuggets then for the young princes. Did you know that before marrying Prince Charles in 1981, Diana had a number of jobs? She was first a nanny before becoming a kindergarten teacher. And just how did Prince Charles meet Lady Diana? Well, he used to date her sister. That must have been some awkward family dinners then. Have you noticed that the Queen only wears bright and bold colours? The Queen said that she does this because she needs to stand out in a crowd so that people can say, I saw the Queen. The Queen also has a purse to match her outfit. But did you know that the way she holds it sends a secret message to her staff? I wonder if there's anything even in her purse. Her Majesty also has been using the same type of nail polish called Essie's Ballet Slippers since 1989. This shade has also become Kate Middleton's favourite too, and around 30 bottles of the polish are sold every hour in the US. Wow! When the Queen travels, she travels with a group of 34 people including a private secretary, a hairdresser, press officers, eight bodyguards and more. The Queen doesn't need to worry about forgetting her passport as she is one of the only people in the world that requires no passport for international travel. She also never leaves the country without bringing a Royal Navy doctor with her and if her health advisors think that a destination she's visiting has questionable blood supply, well, she just brings her own. The Queen doesn't need to worry about waking up late either, as every morning at 9am a Scottish bagpiper plays under her window for 15 minutes. Well, I guess that beats that annoying alarm clock, doesn't it? The holdings of the Crown Estate are worth to be an estimated £14 billion and extend all over the UK. That's nothing though, as the Royal Family is worth around $88 billion. You may have noticed that Prince George is always pictured wearing shorts. You might be asking yourself, why? Well, this is because it's an English tradition that only older boys and men are allowed to wear trousers. This tradition dates back to the 16th century. Everyone has his or her favourite royal. 
But according to a poll, Prince Charles is the least favourite of the royal family, whilst Prince William is the most popular. Sadly, you'll be unable to get his signature though, as the royal family are unable to give out signatures. This is to stop other people from forging them. They do though respond to fan mail, so don't forget to send your letters in now. If you spot Prince William behind the wheel of a car, it's not because his driver is called in sick. In fact, William and relatives often drive to take a break from their posh and pampered lifestyle and try to be as normal as they possibly can. It can't be that normal though, as the Prince of Wales has his pyjamas and his shoelaces pressed with an iron every morning. Paul Burrell, Princess Diana's former butler, even said that he had valets to squeeze one inch of toothpaste onto his toothbrush every morning. Everyone hates weighing themselves during the Christmas holidays, but not the royal family. In fact, members of the monarchy and their guests have to weigh themselves on ancient scales before and after Christmas dinner. This tradition dates back to the early 1900s when King Edward VII was concerned that people weren't eating enough. Prince Harry's wedding marked a historic moment as Bishop Michael Bruce Curry was the first American ever to be invited to speak at a royal wedding. Did you know that the fathers of royal families wouldn't be there for the birth of their child? In fact, when Queen Elizabeth II gave birth to Prince Charles in 1948, Prince Philip was very busy playing squash. Since then, the family have made more of an effort to be present during birth. William's father, Prince Charles, started this tradition with William's birth. The Queen famously loves corgis, and when one of hers mated with a Datchum, she created a new mixed breed, Dorgy. And what about other animals? It's quite well known that the Queen owns all of the swans in Great Britain, but did you know that she also owns all of the whales and dolphins in the surrounding waters too? They're called Fishes Royale. It might sound bizarre, but royal family members aren't supposed to play Monopoly. It seems just like the rest of us, Monopoly can cause huge chaos and family arguments. All coronations, weddings, and royal funerals have taken place at Westminster Abbey. 17 British monarchs are buried within the grounds, the first being King Edward in the 13th century. All two of the monarchs except Henry III are there too. Have you ever wondered who's next in line for the throne? Well, check out this list here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, have a great day.